Hey guys, welcome to Minute Watch, and this is the not focus. There you go. This is the Casio W800H-1AV digital quartz watch. It was twelve dollars, and uh, there I, I couldn't resist. I saw this on Amazon, and I was like, you know what, twelve bucks. Let's do it. Might as well. I need I needed something exactly like this, just for you know, just for whatevers. And uh, let's get into the stuff. It features black and it tells the time as well as the day, uh, the date, and the year. It can be set to 24 hour mode, like you see there. You can turn it off 11 40 p.m., 11 41 p.m., 23 41, 24 hour mode. Other functions include alarm, stopwatch. Dual time. I don't know where that is. I think that might be set for Utah or that that mountain zone or whatever that is. And uh, what else? Uh, yeah. So got a bunch of stuff. Some some good usable features. And uh, the the time function, due to the quartz nature of the movement, is very accurate. Since I received this watch on March eighth of this year, it's gained only about. 0.6 seconds per day. It's pretty dang good, um, especially for $12. <laughs> it's made out of rubber and plastic, and its overall durability is probably okay. Uh, I did do something with it, and I'll tell you about that later. If it breaks, though, it's only $12 to replace. Sometimes 11 sometimes 10 Sometimes you can get this watch for like 10 or maybe even 9 I don't know. I heard somebody got this watch for $9. And I was like, really? That sounds like a lie. But you never know. It could happen. Um, what else? It has end glass to protect the LCD screen, which is very important. you got to do that. It's real important. And it's water resistant to 100 meters. So you can definitely go swimming with this watch. I have done it. I have showered with it. I have cleaned things, washed my car and some other really gnarly stuff. One of my favorite features of this watch, and let me turn off the lights here real quick, is uh, green light. I love green light. Green light makes me very, very happy. And uh, let me, let's just turn the ISO up to all of it. And, uh, oh yeah, look at, ah, uh, green light, no. Ah, uh, yeah, green light, ah. Uh, yeah, green light. Green light is so good. I love green light. Green light is just the best. It just makes me so happy. I don't know what the ISO setting was on, so I'll leave it at 400. Anyway, green light's really cool. Love green light. It's very, very 80s. Um, and uh, it also features battery. And uh, you know, you're going to need the battery, <laughs> which you get access from the rear battery storage compartment. And you'll just need a screwdriver. And to add about... Uh, I think it's about about 10 inches or about uh, 25 and a half centimeters. This watch will fit wrists nearing 8 inches around, but we'll go down to about 6. The strap is easy, easily replaceable, though, and I'll, I'll probably change it in uh, later on in this video. So let's it's, uh, give it a different look. The buttons. The buttons are big. They're real big. Uh, they feel good. You can, work, you can work with them with gloves, and I have done so. I've worn this watch... Uh, with gloves and it just it works just fine with gloves just want to say say it one more time gloves because I like to repeat myself so really good versatile little, just little gem of watch has everything you need it's not the prettiest watch but it's it's nice enough for me where I'm, I'm like you know what this is pretty cool I like it you know I, <laughs> oh things to know about this watch the glass scratches pretty easily it's very thin I have put some scratches on it uh, I don't know if you can see it. All right, come on, focus, Cadabra. Uh, there you go. Where's the scratches? Can you see the scratches? Um, yeah, I did that in uh, about a week. This watch was new, and then I scratched it up. Um, and there's a reason for it, which I'll, well, I'll explain later. But it's overall, it's pretty durable. But again, the the grass, the grass, the glass scratch. Sc the grass scratches. That's that's how you speak words, Kurt. That's how you that's how you brain. But the glass scratches easily, and from what I've heard, over time the lugs actually become brittle, and uh, will just snap off instead of the spring bar. So you know that's over the course of many years. And if you get one year out of this watch for twelve bucks, come on, it's still a good deal. 
Um, I have. I have put this watch to the test, and uh, it's worked. It's worked great for me. Just a little bit of scratch, but that's okay. It's you know, it's not. It's not going to be put in a beauty pageant. So yeah, and uh, well, let's uh, let's get to let's get to the measurements. Get the phone controller of justice here. All right, and uh, yeah, gonna gonna remove that. Uh, gonna remove that that shoe cam thing. We're gonna replace it with something else. We can't have that anymore. So. Uh, uh, there we go. Measurements. So, case I got 38.1 millimeters. Case width that is. Lug to lug I got 44 millimeters. Lug width is 18 millimeters. And thickness is 13.3 millimeters. So not a huge watch. Let's just put it on my wrist, shall we? And uh, I have a, it's a little bit bigger than a six and a half inch wrist. Uh, it fluctuates. It fluctuates quite a bit. Uh, depending well not quite a bit it fluctuates a very small amount I made it up I lied it fluctuates a small amount between just under six and a half and just over so on my wrist it's the perfect size just, oh, just a little bit of a dingleberry over here just a little bit of dangler after this video I am actually going to cut the sucker and uh, so it's a little bit more it's a little bit nicer but yeah it looks it looks it looks fine it looks great um, and then you know green light oh green light looks so good yeah, so it'll it'll work good on a multitude of wrist sizes. Let's put on a different strap. I have a different strap on here, and uh, I have used this strap many times in many other videos. And uh, this is just one of the easiest <laughs> watches to look at. That it was so easy. It's not made to be robust. It's made to be a good watch with good enough capabilities to to fend off uh, things. <laughs> I never said I was like an expert watch reviewer, you know, I, I, I'm just trying to do my, my best here. And words sometimes not speak good face out of mine. So, here we go. And this is kind of a weird combination, but I thought you might want to see it. Here it is. This is the, oh, look how super brown it is on the camera. This is a Timex Expedition replacement strap, and uh, I figured I'll try it on here. It looks kind of good, doesn't it? Doesn't it look kind of good? Nope. I saw a little bit too high. Nope, a little bit too low. What do you guys think about that? It, it it gives it a different feel. Put it on my wrist. I wish they made this strap in black. It would be perfect if it was if it was uh, black. But overall, uh, like it's it makes this watch super super comfortable, and. Uh, I'll be a little bit weird, but it's so, so comfortable. It was already comfortable, but now it's like legit super comfortable. So that's that. It's, it's my weird old strap on a Casio watch. And uh, gosh, what else can we talk about? So leg legibility, obviously, it's very legible. It's much more so than my other G-Shocks. This thing is immediately legible. I mean, even... Even when you're uh, doing something like riding a bike or or um, hand gliding, hand gliding, paragliding, whatever you're doing, first glance you immediately know what time it is. You don't have to look at things too too much. So that's what I really really like about this watch. Everything is laid out very nicely, very easy, super easy, and uh, in my old age that's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, little, nice little nice little good little beater watch. And uh, now while. Uh, yeah, what else can we talk about? So this watch is for two kinds of people, I guess. It's for those of you who want to do this revolutionary thing called telling the time. And you want to do it effortlessly, easily, efficiently, and economically. So, and for about 12 bucks, there's not much out there that's better than this watch. In terms of cost versus function and quality, it's a pretty damn good little watch. The other kind of person that would buy this watch is someone like me, a guy who has many watches, most of them mechanical. And sometimes we want something that makes us happy. And because of how utterly and fabulously great it is, despite its cost, and something that brings a little bit of nostalgia. I'm going to actually put this uh, back on the black strap. I actually think I like it better on the on the black strap. And uh, because, I'm going again, I'm going to cut it so to make it fit. And I kind of, I even feel bad about cutting that. I mean, this... This watch costs less than the replacement straps that <laughs> that it comes with. That that's kind of like going, uh, going to Costco and buying um, 
uh, razors that come with like like about five or six or replacement blades and then you look at the replacement blades next to them and they're like ten times the cost you might as well just buy a whole another set of razors with the, the replacement blades in the package so anyway there you go and uh, gosh while not completely vintage I mean it is a classic Casio style it's not one of the more known vintage ones that green light man that green light reminds me of the the 80s when I grew up man it's like when I was a child <laughs> Uh, a time when the Cold War was still very prominent, right? And as a result, the grade school I went to had regular air raids because that's going to save us from the nuclear missiles. And, uh, man, you know, this watch reminds me of Real Genius, um, Weird Science, Revenge of the Nerds, freaking Karate Kid 1 and 2, uh, and the Goonies, man, the freaking Goonies, Red Dawn. It's just there's so many things that this reminds me of. It reminds me of... Uh, uh, having to record my favorite songs from the TV when Night Tracks aired on WTBS. <laughs> Only to be mortified by the eating of my new freaking Maxell cassette tape that smelled like candy and glue. And uh, <laughs> this watch represents my childhood and how epic it was. We did things. We roamed around on our bikes and we got into trouble. We were fearless, right? And um, this little Casio reminds me to never stop playing and being that kid. <laughs> Yeah, speaking of playing, a few weeks ago, my buddy Kalani and I went to Utah to ride the epic trails of Moab. I didn't want to worry about a watch, so I brought this one. It did its job. It did not break, but did get a few scratches on the glass, like I've mentioned before. And curiously and unknown to me, one of my friends who met us there from Las Vegas also had the same watch. Look at that. Would you just look at that? And guess what? We absolutely love it. My name is Kurt. This is my review. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. So, Uncle Jimmy, what's happening? Uh, we are on uh, the airport with this guy here. Uh, what is his name? Accidental uh, 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 tripod. Broadcast. Uh, accidental broadcast. And we are going on to uh, Moab. I want to drink this whole thing all by myself. Can I do it? Nope. Shit.